Well guys, hate to say it, but I was wrong, so let's go over it. Welcome to SETI Astro. So I've said a couple times uh, that Drizzle doesn't have any rejection algorithms in it. And it is true the Drizzle process itself does not do any rejection. It may have um, a waiting scheme for the waiting map, but it specifically doesn't have any rejection algorithms during the Drizzling process. That is true. Where I was wrong and um, misled others and myself uh, uh, based on some uh, misguided information that I myself had been given uh, was that in Pix Insight specifically, that during the integration process, it updates the Drizzle files with the actual rejection maps for each file such that during the drizzle process, it can recall that rejection map and not use any pixels that were rejected and not uh, drop the pixel values onto the larger pixel grid for the drizzling itself, which would also affect the waiting map. And the waiting maps are also updated based on that rejection map that is established for each image. So uh, specifically in Pix Insight, when you're using drizzling, it will use the rejected pixels during the integration process. So that is, um, so I was wrong in saying that it's not using any rejection methods. If you're using uh, Pix Insight, I can't speak for other uh, stacking software out there, but specifically in Pix Insight. Uh, the rejected pixels will carry over for the drizzling process. And I did do a, a deep dive into the actual PCL class here for the, the drizzle data. And yeah, it, it, it's down here, uh, roughly in this line 1100. There's a, a Boolean if it's uh, been rejected and then it has the, the map including the position and which channel it was on uh, to create that to pass on to the drizzle algorithm itself. And I also ran a test just to fully convince myself of this. Uh, on one of these images, these are both drizzled. Everything was stacked and done the same way. One, I did uh, my normal ESD rejection method. And then on the other, I essentially turned it off. I set everything to zero for that. And um, if drizzling truly didn't use any of the rejected data from image integration, then it wouldn't matter between these two. But you can clearly see that there's some uh, trails left here in the drizzled data where I didn't have any rejection method, or I set it to zero, and they're not present in the one with the rejection method. So it does carry those over. I'm sorry I misled you guys. Uh, for the for PixInsight, drizzling will use those rejected pixel maps uh, for the image integration. Again. Big apology on my end. Didn't want to give anybody some misguided data, so I wanted to make sure I, I got this corrected and out to everyone. 